Hello fish lovers and welcome back to my channel. It's been a week since I have started tweeting my my fish inside my aquarium with mallet and queen and I do not see a lot of success with that uh, uh, treatment and I don't know why but uh, my tanks still uh, got new white spots on them. Not all my fish got ick and my scopas tank, uh, the first one who developed peak in the first place, now it doesn't have ick anymore. But my blue tanks and my uh, uh, this one, my powder blue tank, uh, has ick all over his body and on the fins. But all of my fish are eating and they are looking okay. I still have some corners left inside the tank. Uh, some of my corals I remove them and put them into a smaller aquarium without any malachite green inside. But like I said, uh, I don't know if the treatment is working or not. Uh, yesterday I dosed 40 milliliters of uh, GBL uh, Punctol Plus 125. You can see it right over here. Uh, it does says says that uh, it's affecting effective against uh, Ikito I can't spell out these names uh, and cryptocarion. This is the parasite that uh, uh, provokes white spot disease in the salt water. Uh, so yesterday. It's my first time dosing this newer brand uh, treatment. I'm going to give it another try, maybe a week with this treatment. I have ordered another bottle because I have like uh, 400 liters of water in here and I have to dose this uh, again in uh, three days, I think. And I'm going to need more than 100 milliliters of, uh, of treatment for my tank, obviously. And if that doesn't work, I'm just going to do a water change. I'm going to put activated carbon to eliminate all the medicine that I have in this tank. I'm going to get the fish out and I'm going to try with uh, cupramine because this, that is what I have uh, read online and on YouTube that uh, cupramine is a very effective uh, medicine against ick but it does contain copper so I also order, uh, ordered a salifert uh, copper test because I have to know the copper concentration uh, in the water so I can effectively uh, uh, destroy the paras parasite on the fish and I'm not going to be able to do that without uh, testing for copper. So I did order the copper test. I did order some uh, activated carbon. And maybe I don't I don't know if I will uh, I will dose uh, cupramine inside my reef aquarium because uh, on, the, on their site cupramine says that uh, it can be done in a reef aquarium. But I have to take out all my invertebrates. I already did my uh, my starfish. I have three of them are in my smaller aquarium over there, and uh, along with some other corals. And basically, if you use activated carbon, you can eliminate the copper from the tank. It does not. It doesn't bind to the rocks or the sand. This is what I'm telling you from the cupramine site. It doesn't bind uh, with the sand or rocks or the silicon because it is, it's a special formulated uh, copper solution inside there. It just stays in the water and attacks the ick parasite. So after that it can be eliminated from water with water changes and with activated carbon. So this is giving me an idea that I can treat with cupramine inside my reef aquarium 
because I'm really reluctant in taking out my fish, all of them, and putting them in a 60 liter tank. It's the biggest one I have. The stress alone could kill my fish. Just the stress of moving them together from this 2 meter big aquarium in that 60 centimeters uh, uh, tank that is way too small to house all of my tanks. So this is why I'm uh, thinking about um, dosing cupramine or every, any other medicine inside my tank. I can deal with losing a few corals, corals because you can see one, two, three, they are small. I just started with this tank. I do not have a, a really big coral growth in here, so I don't really care. I, I only care for my fish. I do not want it to die. And I'm hoping that I will not lose any fish. So this is my update for today, guys. From now on, I'm going to to try the GBL punctual uh, white spot disease treatment. It says here to do a 50% water change and redose with a full dose again after three or five days until 15 days has passed. I don't think I can uh, afford doing a 50% water change to my tank because I'm going to need um, I think 7 or 8 kilograms of salt and salt is expensive guys so I think uh, I, I'm going to uh, dose only half of the recommended dose every 3 days without any water, any water change uh, it also says on uh, this uh, box that strongly biological filters may inactivate the, the treatment and maybe I'm, I'm thinking that uh, because of the, the rock, the rocks and the sand and because of the, uh, the beneficial bacteria that are uh, covering the rocks and the sand, they are in some way purchase, purchasing the, the molecule green treatment and slowly inactivated the treatment. So this is why it's not very effective in my tank. And for that reason, if this doesn't work, I'm going to try with cupramine that has a copper uh, active ingredient and copper does not get processed by uh, bacteria. It says on the cupramine, on the cupramine side that uh, it doesn't change the biological filter. I don't think that uh, malachite green does change the filter. I don't. My water is still blue because I just dosed uh, the GPL pump to a last night. But it doesn't. It does. I didn't. I don't have any problems with water. It's still crystal clear. My nitrates level are the same. I don't have any problems with my my filtration. I did turn off my skimmer, and this is why I am going to try cupramine if for another week with GBL punctual I do not see any improvements I don't know I, I have to have patience because if I stress out and take out the fish or do another treatment after this treatment it could also be stressful for the fish so far they are still eating, you can see they are foraging on the rocks. They are swimming, they are not, uh, they are not breathing heavily, so it's uh, still, um, uh, they are still in a good uh, health. But, like I said, I still see lumps and bumps on my fish along with some uh, sugar-like spots. So, I don't know, maybe the egg still comes out of the sand and has time to infest the fish. It shouldn't do that, it's a way different than my uh, freshwater egg treatment. That was pretty easy. I would just raise the temperature to 31 or 30 degrees. Uh, I was adding malachite green in the tank, kept the temperature for maybe 6 or 7 days, do a little water change and that's it, egg was gone. But now with salt water, it's a whole different uh, matter here. And I might be all uh, over my head here, so 
I'm trying, I'm trying guys, I'm trying to, to save my fish and I will not buy any fish no more for some time until I get rid of this parasite. Thanks for watching guys and I wish you have a great day. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you like to receive updates about my future videos. See you later. Bye.